I'm back for another YouTube video. I've got a lot to catch you guys up on, so let's get straight into a day in the life. If you guys are tuning in for the first of a time, I am a full-time reseller and predominantly sneaker reseller in the UK. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video and I'm just gonna basically do what I always do and hopefully you find it interesting. <laughs> sold this week and I also got ahead to the unit but I've got a couple bits and bobs here. I also had to ship on Saturday four or five items because um, people wanted it delivered for Monday. Um, so there's already four or five items that I've already shipped out this weekend. So first up, if you didn't know, Adidas are absolutely killing the game lately. Nike have been in the mud for some time. We've got these pink bliss gazelles, which have been absolutely churning for me. So I managed to sell three this weekend and should be able to sell another four um, by Tuesday, because it's Monday today. I've got one left and then I've got three on the way. So I should be able to sell all of those in the next 48 hours, because they're absolutely selling out wildfire, basically. Which cost me a tenner less these pink bold gazelles so obviously they've got kind of more of a platform on here and um, just sort that out um these are sold on a vintage and they do come with an extra lace um and these sold for 15 pound profit but they cost 10 pound less so these cost around 80 for retail or if you use a discount code and then those i had to pay 94 but the pink bliss ones sell a lot quicker than these you can see already, literally just shifting out Adidas Gazelles like nothing. So those four there. Also sold a pair of used Adidas Gazelles. Uh, pretty beat. I've stopped actually cleaning my shoes. So even though probably it costs me, what, three or four pound less when I'm selling them, it just means that I've got more time to list and more times on my hands. Because time management in this game is key. So you don't want to spend too, many too much time cleaning shoes whereas obviously if i'm only gonna make five or ten pound profit for cleaning these i may as well just make a tenner on these and move on to the next instead of making 20 if that makes sense just to do a good clean will take me around 20 20 minutes or so so i've actually sold over 15 of these birkenstocks and i think i kept it a bit discreet last time i did a youtube video but we actually made a seven pound loss on these these are the boston talk suede clogs in a uk5 these were selling really well for me during summer but i had to keep it on the down low i didn't want you all stealing my flip of summer so yeah i was picking these up for 117 and selling them for 150 to 160 easy times even on StockX for 160 pound payout so obviously like 40 or 50 pound a pair and these were a sick move for me, but I decided to get rid of the last one for a seven pound loss just to get rid of my summer stuff. I don't think anyone will be wearing Boston suede clogs in the UK because it's absolutely freezing now and it's September. But we've got, oh, I just I love sneakers, all the different types of sneakers that we can get. So these are actually the Air Force One Fresh. And I don't know why they've got an eBay tag on, that's so weird. That's very weird. Because I actually bought these from Goat. Because um, Goat had a little discount. For some reason, it's got an eBay tag on. Glad I removed that before shipping it out. Um, so yeah, these are the Air Force One Fresh. They feel a bit different to the usual ones. Um, I'm not sure why they're called the Fresh. Maybe because they look fresh, but yeah. Completely brand new, made 16 pound profit off these. I haven't actually ran up what profit I have made, but I made around £380 off all these shoes that I'm showing you today. £400 
we include the ones that I shipped yesterday. That's just from Saturday and Sunday, bit of Friday. Next up, we've got the color of the month, Air Force Ones. So these are the Air Force Ones that I'm on about. Yeah, they also come with a Nike toothbrush. Wait, where's that? Since 1985, I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah. So these are the Air Force Ones that I have literally got more pairs off. So yeah, these are the UK 10 color of the month. And if you didn't know, these are live on my website and I'm gonna be explaining on my website later because I've just launched um, my website, which I'm very happy about. Next up, we've got another brown pair. We have got the Dunk Low Mockers. These restocked on size, I believe. I think it was size or office. And we managed to pick up a couple pairs of these. Obviously, all mainly all the flips that you've seen here today have been posted in my group. So around £200 profit would have been inside the group for the month. It's quite nice. And they do look kind of a mocker. Even the sole is a bit, is a bit staying like a coffee, coffee sole. Or I'm not sure if you remember when you used to be at school, they even made, made you um, dip your paper in coffee when you're doing a poem or whatever maybe maybe not maybe that's just an english thing but yeah overall really like these pair of shoes um kind of all to me as well so yeah bigger sizes do well so this is a uk8 and this is getting shipped out uh today obviously and next up we got two special shoes that i'm actually sad to see go we've got a cool backstory behind one of these so first up we'll get rid of these golf dunk sbs these are so nice it's a shame to see these ones go in without a box but these are the dunk sbs um there's actually nothing on the tongue i thought there was something behind the tongue but yeah overall really really clean pair you got the 58 there and yeah a pretty loud pair so you gotta be brave to wear these but these are the dunk sbs and they have now sold We've got the Lightning McQueen Crocs that restocked on Crocs, which we pinged that group about, and it's £65 profit there. I managed to pick up five pairs. This is my last pair, and actually, I did a drop to launch my website that someone could pick these up for £10, and that lucky person is getting these shipped out today, which is pretty exciting for them and pretty exciting for me. So yeah, I only, I only um, charge the person £10 plus shipping for these and he should make around £100 profit because I've been selling mine for 120 to 150 So, And these have actually flown out. And they've got kind of like a special thing where if you actually tap on these, like when you walk in, they actually light up. But yeah, Lightning Queen Crocs, absolute sick pair. Pretty cool pair that I picked up, but that is pretty much what's sold here. And the next time you'll probably see me is at the unit to show you the rest of the stuff that I've sold. Um, but now I'm gonna basically do TikTok, the same again of what I've just done. Yeah, so I'll probably see you at the unit. Right, I still need to sort out this unit. I've just got an overload of stock everywhere and in there. If you didn't know, I use a, basically a rundown caravan as my storage unit. But we also sold some Air Max 95s. These are the Air Max 95 breads, they're called. And then we also sold some Air Forces and then the rest of the used stuff I did ship off um, yesterday. So um, that's pretty much it. But we've got some insane pairs here actually, but I keep all my new stock at home and then all my used stuff here. So I've got, I think over 300 pairs in here now. And that's basically all the orders packed up. So yeah, over 20 items there that I've sold. So now I've got to head to the gym and then post these. I'm on a bit of a rush right now. So yeah, I'll probably catch up to you guys either when I'm at the gym or after the gym. So yeah. Right, so packing and posting is done and so is the gym. The time is currently two and I've also done a bit of a food shop. So we're actually gonna have for lunch a melon um, and a sandwich. That's basically what we're gonna have. I don't know why a melon, but I'm enjoying them with a bit of honey. But we've also got to um, unpack some orders that have arrived. So I thought I'd quickly do that now before I have my lunch. So I'm going to set you guys right here because I don't, oh, that's my saucepan. I don't have my tripod at the minute or I'm too lazy to get it out, but you can see me. Um, 
Yeah, so two secs while I get the first couple of parcels. Mm. So you're using my air fryer. Who knew that an air fryer could also be used as a tripod? So anyways, let's just use a knife. Nicely packaged. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Thank you for your order. Smiley face. By the way, comment down below some comments or some questions that you want to ask. And these are pretty fuckoed if you ask me. So thank you for your order, but thank you for giving me a shit pair of shoes. So we've got some grey, black and red 720s, but look how shit. I don't know what's been eating that rat or something, so. But when are you getting rid of your pairs of shoes? Right, okay, next up. So what I like to do with checking used pairs is you always gotta just check the bubbles on a pair of shoes. And then you also gotta check the soles to make sure they're not, the soles, the back heel I mean, to make sure that they're not ripped. And then also the front can sometimes unpeel and soak in the back. So always just make sure that's all intact and then just press down. As you can see that bubble, I'm not sure if you can see, there you go. It's still really firm. So that means they're good to go. And then basically I'll do this quick on the other side. Basically you wanna make sure everything's still intact because what people do do when they sell used shoes is they sometimes just flog their old shoes because they're broken and then they list them as perfect condition. Honestly, the amount of people that list their shoes as perfect condition and they are actually in shit condition, you'd be surprised. But anyways, let's go into the next one. In an Ugg box, not sure if you can see that, but obviously not a pair of Uggs. Oh, lovely. Got a pair of Air Force Ones in a gray colorway with a kind of like a plasticky metallic silver tick. So that's happy days. And then we've also got, wouldn't be a video without a couple of new pairs. So let's get into this. Oh, already know what these are. I did order some more Bliss Pinks. I forgot that I ordered two more. So we've got two of these that have come from size. I'm literally shifting these now for 20 pound, 25 pound profit each, which is beautiful. Um, I've started to up my price just because they're selling so bloody well. And then we've got Adidas again. If you didn't know, Adidas are killing the game. So if you were a reseller and looking for flips, um, it might be worth you joining my reselling group, which will be linked in the bio. And we've also got some Campus 00s, Campus OOs. Don't know how they're pronounced, but yeah, pretty nice in a, what are these? Ooh. In the UK five, these are actually pretty nice. They actually look similar to like SBs and also they got a fat tongue, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, those only cost me 60 quid. But yeah, a little quick plug now. What I'm gonna do is show you my new website, my new reselling website and crypto trading website, as well as I've now got a shop. So if you did wanna buy any of my used stuff or new stuff, you can do so by heading to resellcartel.com um, or realresellers.com if you're looking to start reselling. But I'm basically just gonna have lunch and then we will move on to the next part of this video. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy me waffling because I'm so busy at the moment that I'm tr I just wanna do more YouTube stuff, but the editing just takes me ages, even though it probably seemed like it doesn't. Honestly, hats off to people that post like once a day and edit really well because I literally can't do that on top of me listing photos all day. Right, okay, so here we are. We have got my official website, which is Resale Cartel. So if you guys didn't know, I'll actually show you now. My reselling um, business was actually called Some Real Kicks. Whereas now I've changed to Resale Cartel. Um, we're going to basically go through both websites. So the aim of the website was because I obviously have a TikTok account and I promote what I do on there as well as now YouTube. And I get a lot of inquiries through Instagram. 
and it's always been my dream to set up a sneaker shop since I became a full-time reseller or basically just in general, even when I was reselling at 14, 15, I thought it'd be cool to have my own website. This is all built by myself as well on Shopify, but just to make it easier, instead of people DMing me on Instagram all the time and me taking ages to respond, to just go on my website and buy some stuff. So let's go through it. So obviously this is the homepage. Um, and then what I decided to do is the featured collection. So shoes I personally think are nice and uh, that I sold quite a lot in the UK and US and then my picks. So basically shoes that are either at a decent price or ones that I would recommend again, cause they're in demand um, or at a really good price. And then also we've got the used section. Now I know you're probably looking at these flying it leopard vapor maxes and thinking that's expensive 190, but that's actually 650 pounds brand new. And I managed to pick these up for around 20 to 30 pound. Same with those Safari um, vapor maxes. And then that's just a bit about me that I've been reselling for 10 years because that's what you want to do. You kind of want to personalize it. Some people don't actually like shopping at big brands because they prefer to help out small businesses. And then that actually sold um, over the weekend. So yeah, and then that's just popular dunks and then New Balance 530s and a Bish Bosh Bash. So yeah, we've got a load of new products here. Like I said, when the store opened, you could have grabbed these for a tenner, which I shipped out today. Thank you, Danelle, for popping up on my screen. Um, that's actually a bit annoying that that's a bit bigger. But yeah, these are all basically the new shoes. And then we've got pre-owned shoes, which are all here. I'm slowly adding to it, but it does take time because not only do I have to add the photos of the actual shoe, which you can see here. So use shoes, you can see what condition it is. I also have to obviously add the stock photo to make it look clean because I wanted to still have a clean front instead of just having my usual photographs which I think work pretty nicely. And then we got also steels. So, so for example, like these easy 350s for 70 quid. I know the soles have yellowed a bit, but even in that condition, they're selling for around 100 on eBay. So I'm surprised no one's picked those up yet. Then activewear, bits and bobs there. I'm gonna have to change that because we're heading into winter. So I'll add some tracksuits and stuff in there. And obviously we've got streetwear. I've only got the Nike top to fleece pants in a small at the moment just because I've been really focusing hard on um, just shoes. And then we've got Real Resellers, which is my other site, which links into if you wanted to get started with reselling. Um, so obviously you've got the crypto trading group, which people are making thousands a month from, especially in the next year or two, when crypto skyrockets again. You heard it here first. So if you haven't already, obviously everything will be linked in my bio, or you can head to either website. Um, but yeah, I'm in this group now and I actually am affiliated with them. Um, so yes, yeah, that is not 30 pound a month. It's 45 pound a month now. And then, so that's, and then obviously that heads to my reselling group, which is here. Um, so you can get flips for 10 pound or you could subscribe or join the group for free, but you don't get any flips. So you could read through that. Um, but yeah, I've really updated the, uh, uh, the website and then I've also added a couple of blogs about top cashback and stuff like that. So if you guys wouldn't mind heading to my website, there'll be some really uh, valuable information on there that could help you guys out. Um, yeah, and click here if you want to join Discord for free and follow my Twitter. Um, what else? We've got Reseller Hub. So I have done a couple designs already for my website. So if you wanted your own made for a cheap price, something similar to the sneaker website, obviously to cater to what you want, or you need help with building a blog page or anything like that, uh, you can inquire there. And that's not I uh, open yet, but consignment. So if you wanted me to store stuff at my unit and list on my website and list on other platforms and when it sells, I ship it for you. I charge a small commission fee for that. So I'm just getting started with that. And then um, this is just the make, make money side, giving you ideas on how to make money. Um, and then obviously that links straight back to my sneaker page. So I, that, I'm, I'm just proud of it. You know, when you just have something in your head and I think that just looks really professional. 
I'm not sure what you guys think, but I'm just super proud that this is my website and that I've created both. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a website where I can sell things on, but also teach. Um, and even though it's not massive, the important thing is that instead of giving up, I've still done the website. And even if I only make, I don't know, in my lifetime, £10,000 profit from this website, at least I've done it. And at least that's ticked off. At least I've put it in my book saying, in 2023, I launched my website. Um, so yeah, guys, so that is, I think, I think I'm going to leave the video there. Um, obviously, it'd be nice if you came for dinner with me and saw what I was cooking tonight. But I think I'm going to leave the day in the life there. Uh, leave it on that note because I am super proud of that. Um, Money-wise today, made around £120 profit from shoes and then a couple affiliate bits because I do earn also from my real reseller site. I earn um, so usually a 10 a day or something like that, which is pretty good. So obviously if people use my referrals for top cashback and stuff, if you didn't know about top cashback, check it out but no i hope you guys have watched enjoyed watching this video it's a bit of a waffly video not that much editing more natural than anything um but if you do, could leave a comment or anything like that anything that you want to see in future be greatly appreciated but yeah i will catch you in the next video and yeah i hope you i hope you check out my website